So I want to add face tracking animations uh, controller to this. I have a setup uh, VRC face tracking templates on my GitHub. There's a couple steps you have to do before you can uh, and to get this working. First you need VRC Fury. Uh, first thing to do with VRC Fury, uh, add it to Creator Companion, open in Creator Companion, and then it will come up and says I want to add and add a repository. And it failed because I already had it on in my repository. Uh, then the next thing to do is the my t template listing. So Jerry's face tracking uh, templates. Add to VCC. Open create companion. Accept. I would say it failed because I already have it on my setup. To your project. Manage project. Now you can add it to your project by hitting the plus icon. It'll take a little couple seconds to load, then it'll load in. Okay, VRC Fury loaded. And then the templates. There's extra tools that you can add to the project. Uh, I recommend AV3 Emulator because it works really well for face tracking. Uh, Gesture Manager works with AV Emulator to add a little bit better UI. So you can do both of those. And with those tools installed we go back to reload it in so once it's all loaded in the packages in the project folder note that this changes the viewing of the window this little slider down here I usually keep it all the way left so I can actually read things so under projects go to VRCFT Jerry's templates in prefabs. There's three different prefabs, ARKit, Sarandipal, and uh, UE, or Unified Expressions. These correspond to the blend shapes that are on the model. Each of these are case sensitive and uh, need to be on a correct model in order to make that work with face tracking shapes. In this case, I have Unified Expressions on here. So I'm going to use the Unified Expressions Blend Shapes prefab. I'll throw it onto that avatar. I'm going to basically hide everything I don't want to see for now. So we have the VRC Fury on there. So that will add the face tracking shapes in the menu and parameters for face tracking. One of the things you need to check is the parameters, that how many parameters you are being used. So right now it's only 73 parameters being used. And with the VRC Fury component, uh, the face tracking component is uses 161. 161 plus 73 is 234, so you're under 256. So that's good. So one of the things that you may have to customize on the animator is you may have to duplicate this animator doing control D. We're going to call it mod and this is something that you're going to have to do for any hand gestures or any eye control states. So in this case we have blinking that will go into a blinking state if the gestures uh, basically are not uh, basically this value. So basically go into the blinking animation on us if it's higher than 3 or that eyes closed radial is higher than uh, is less than that so it will go into a blinking state. 
Now that's annoying for face tracking because you want to be controlling that blinking so you don't want to be going into this blink state. So, in order to do this, we'll have to add a couple parameters that will be used that are what are used in my template. So you can reference these templates and animators in Unified Expressions, FX. So here's the face tracking animator. So we want to do eye tracking active. So I'm going to copy that. And go back to controllers. Then go to add a float. Copy that. And then facial expressions disabled. So if we, when we go into face tracking, we disable uh, hand expressions. So we're going to do that. Copy that. That is a bool. Now this eye tracking active does act like a bool uh, with typecasting. Uh, this will not be covered in how this uh, uh, for the setup, but uh, the eye tracking and lip tracking actives in the, the template are being used in like a direct blend tree setup. So it enables and disables lip and eye tracking, but these have to be floats. And you can see all these different uh, animators in this blend tree, this nested blend tree with all the controls for the face tracking. If you ever want to modify the logic on these. So going back to the controller, we want to disable blinking. We don't want to go into this blink state if eye tracking is active. So that means that we need to make sure that eye tracking active needs to be less than one. One is true, zero is false, but we'll just put 0.5 to basically if it's above or below. So we want to be only get in the state if it's less than 0.5. So only auto blink if it's less than 0.5. Now these two arrow, these three arrows mean that there's multiple transitions out of this state. So we have just a right, I close radial going greater than point, 0 0.1, and then just your left being greater than two. So we want to create another transition. So we're going to right click this, make transition, and we are going to set that condition to be eye tracking active is greater than 0.5, so it's true. Now this do, doesn't automatically have the same transition time, so we're going to change it to what the other ones are, so it's 0 0.001, and set that to false, has exit time, so that should be the same as the other ones, and which it is. So we now we added the disable blinks when eye tracking is active. Now for hand gestures we want to not go into these animations when face tracking is active so we want to add another condition on these so is false so only go in that transition if it's false where it isn't active and set that to false. Now that's on the right hand. Now do the left hand. Now on the exit transitions, we don't really need these because it's just basically not equal. So they'll it'll exit this pretty quickly. So if you, this is not needed to change. 
So this eyelid's closed. It's basically the radial control for the eyes, but that's this is more of a puppet thing, so this is not going to be something that's going to trigger automatically. And the fold and face are just another little puppet blimp trees. So now we've modified our FX layer. We can need to put that FX layer into the avatar to basically reassign it. All right, then go into, in order to test into Unity, so right now this actually does work, So, but we'll test. Go and I'll build, and then I'll use my emulator by enabling it. So it goes into this uh, standing pose, and now the animators are all running. So you see that the eyes are blinking via the animation. So if we click on the avatar and go to expressions, if we go to eye tracking, it should disable the eye tracking and there won't be auto blinking. So now it has transitioned to the state of no blink. So now it's not blinking anymore. Then we can enable lip tracking and eye dilation. And in this tool, if you go to user generated inputs, go to floats, uh, there's only a few of the floats that are being synced. Everything else is going to be binary, which I can show a little bit later. So you do eye rotation, we'll move the eyes. Then we have left eye X. And left eye X, and then right eye X. Then I O and close. And jaw open, mouth closed. And then mouth up or up. So that's all the floats. Everything else is going to be bulls. So we're going to go down to the bull section and do squint. You can do squint and you can uh, click the max number so just like a binary counting system uh, this reduces the parameters amount needed to get face tracking so we'll just do that and then the negative will go on a negative portion of that and then we got funnel and then we have different mouth left right pucker raise and then basically you can go through this and you can test every of uh, the shape keys to make sure they're all working And then okay. Jump left, right. Then you can do tongue movements, but it's gonna be combined. So we got left, right. You can see the eye dilation move on this. And then basically that's pretty much it. Now this is good to be uploaded. Now if you wanted to do custom uh, modifications to the uh, basically the template, you're going to probably have to go and basically take these animators and modify them and duplicate them. Try not to be editing 
these in the actual packages folder because they will get overwritten so be careful with that so in order to avoid like trying to add extra like controls like for ears and stuff so what we want to do is if we want to do ear control stuff I have a setup already for this so I'm gonna just okay for this example I'll throw a face tracking ears controller so in this controller I made another VRC component that just has its own controller its uh, menu referencing the face tracking menu so what's going to do is going to add a toggle for the face tracking ears and then it has a parameter called FT ears and it's on this prefab and what we'll do is you can add that to the avatar and then have a extra features for controls for this so if we go into play mode again go to enable and then you see the face tracking ears is there now it should go up basically the eyes widen It'll go down if you set a frown. So it goes down. Okay. So now I have these two things together. And then, and then you just basically upload and it just works. So in special cases, an avatar may not have the face tracking shapes on the mesh named body. The face tracking template only works with the mesh named body because the animations are uh, basically assigned to that uh, mesh. Now, in this case, the Zeta avatar has the face tracking shapes on Zeta, not body. So on the VRC Fury component, you will have to modify things. Uh, there's a thing called rewrite animation clips. So we want to rename all the animation clips from body to Zeta. So that will reroute all the face tracking shapes to the mesh Zeta now. Another special case is when face tracking is on multiple meshes. On this model, all the face tracking is on the body, but we also have these face metal components on the face. We have uh, these gems, we got this nose band-aid, and we got these earrings and metal parts. So I added face tracking uh, shapes to each of these. Now these will need to be linked to the base mesh, which can be done by VRC Fury. So on the base model, you need to add a VRC Fury component and blend shape link. So we're going to link every of these skin meshes to the body mesh. And we'll be animating the body. So we'll be linking the gems, the pasties, and the face metal. 